The City of Embers had always been known for its vast library. This wasn't just any collection of books, but a repository of the world's knowledge. Each aisle seemed endless, with shelves soaring upwards till they disappeared into shadows. The ancient tomes were filled with everything from magic incantations to tales of wars long past. Here, in these dusty corridors, Sorrel hoped to find the answers she sought. Beside her, Kale's expression was a mixture of awe and trepidation. They'd heard tales of scholars getting lost amidst these very stacks, consumed by their thirst for knowledge. Some were said never to return. The duo proceeded cautiously, Sorrel's fingers brushing lightly over the spines of the books, feeling the whisper of history. Their aim was clear. Somewhere within this vast collection was the Tome of Lurian, an artifact said to contain powerful spells that even the most experienced mages dared not invoke. As the hours ticked by, they navigated deeper into the library's heart, relying on old maps and instinct. As they moved past a particular section dedicated to the arcane arts, a soft luminescence caught Sorrel's eye. Tucked away in an ornate alcove was the Tome of Lurian, its cover illuminated by the gentle light of hovering wisps. Kale approached with caution, ensuring no protective spells were placed on it. Retrieving the tome would be their greatest accomplishment, but also their gravest responsibility. Exiting the library, the pair felt the weight of their discovery. They needed to get the tome to a safe place, decipher it, and determine their next steps. As they navigated the bustling streets, market sellers hawked their wares, children played, and musicians entertained. But amid the vibrant life of the city, there were eyes that watched, cloaked in shadows, waiting for an opportunity. A street performer caught Sorrel's attention, a man with a strange beguiling instrument. He played haunting melodies that seemed to hint at mysteries untold, its sound resonating with her very soul. Kale felt it too, an underlying power in the notes, one that felt eerily familiar. Their journey through the City of Embers brought them to the home of an old friend, Luna, the city's most renowned seer. Her abode was unlike any other, a treehouse constructed around an ancient, gnarled tree, with ivy-covered walls and windows that looked like they'd been crafted by nature itself. The interior was a cocoon of warmth and light, filled with the scents of herbs and burning incense. Luna welcomed them with a knowing smile, her eyes sparkling with mischief. I foresaw your arrival, she said in her melodic voice. They shared their discovery of the Tome of Lurian and sought her guidance on its mysteries. Luna, with her vast knowledge of the arcane, was their best hope in deciphering the book's cryptic pages. The night was spent in deep discussions, punctuated by moments of revelation and wonder. Luna's home became a sanctuary of knowledge and discovery as they delved into the ancient spells contained within the tome. Morning found them with new purpose. The tome revealed a location, a hidden chamber beneath the city where the power of the Lurian spell could be harnessed, but accessing it would not be simple. Legends spoke of a labyrinth, a maze of tunnels filled with challenges that would test their wits and bravery. The entrance to this maze was said to be located in the city's oldest district a place forgotten by most. As they ventured into the narrow, winding streets, the atmosphere became tense, the weight of history palpable. It was as if the city itself held its breath, waiting for them to uncover its buried secrets. Sorrel and Kale, armed with the knowledge from the tome, found themselves at a nondescript door. With a deep breath, they pushed it open and descended into the depths, prepared to face whatever trials awaited them. The labyrinth was as intricate and challenging as the legends described. It was a puzzle, a test of their resolve, and they faced each challenge with determination. They encountered enchanted guardians, solved riddles etched in stone, and navigated through illusions meant to disorient and mislead. Days felt like hours as they moved forward, the walls of the maze echoing their footsteps and murmured conversations. The air was thick with anticipation, the atmosphere charged with magic. Every turn, every decision brought them closer to their destination. Finally, they stood before an ornate door, its surface etched with symbols that resonated with the spells from the Tome of Lurin. Sorrel, drawing upon the magic she had learned, whispered the incantation, and the doors slowly creaked open. 
The chamber beyond was bathed in a soft, ethereal light, and at its center stood an ancient pedestal, awaiting their next move.